And we have a viewer question from Rachel on the Cape who writes, I have a mild case of COVID, even though I haven't had a booster in over a year. My friend has a serious case, even though she's had every vaccine known to mankind. And why are these vaccines always touted as being 100% safe and effective? Yeah, so sort of a two-part question. Well, first of all, I'm glad that you're having a mild case, probably in large part to the fact that you have been vaccinated and you might still have some residual immunity around. Now, whether someone gets really sick from COVID depends on a number of factors, such as their vaccination status, their age, whether someone's had COVID mm -hmm. before, and a person's underlying health. And if your friend is sick now, even if she did receive the newest vaccine, which really just became available a week ago or so, there really wouldn't be enough time to build immunity just yet. That said, it's still unclear why there are some people that get milder infections and others who go get more significant infections. Mm -hmm. As for the vaccines, there's no vaccine that is 100% yeah. safe and effective. Nobody should be saying that. All vaccines carry some risk of side effects, but in the case of the COVID shot, the RSV vaccine, the flu vaccine, the risk of serious side effects is incredibly rare. And while all three vaccines are not 100% effective at preventing infection, they all will significantly reduce your risk of getting seriously ill this winter. So 60 and above, you really should get all three. If you're under 60, then the flu and COVID. Yeah, I thought it was interesting that you mentioned the effective there part of the question because I don't think anyone ever said it's 100% effective, right? Correct. And not necessarily that effective at preventing infection. The point of these vaccines vaccines it's really make to keep you mild. out of the hospital yeah. and make it mild. Exactly. All right, Dr. Malika, great as always. If you have a question for Dr. Malika, you can reach her on Facebook at Dr. Malika or you can shoot her an email at drmalika at cbs.com.